Behold a great priest who in his days pleased God. Therefore, in accordance with his promise, the Lord gave him growth for the good of his people. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. For us to celebrate the sacred mysteries worthily, we first acknowledge our sins. Be sorry for them, then we ask for the mercy of God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who are rich in mercy, and who will that St. John Paul II should preside as Pope over your universal church, grant, we pray, that instructed by his teaching, we may open our hearts to the saving grace of Christ, the sole Redeemer of mankind, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named that he may grant you, in accord with the riches of his glory, to be strengthened with power through his Spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ that surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. Now to him who is able to accomplish far more than all we ask or imagine, by the power at work within us, to him be glory in the church and in Christ Jesus to all generations, forever and ever. Amen. The Word of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Exalt you just in the Lord. Praise from the upright is fitting. Give thanks to the Lord on the harp. With a ten-stringed lyre, chant his praises. The art is full of the goodness of the Lord. For upright is the word of the Lord, and all his works are trustworthy. He loves justice and right. Of the kindness of the Lord, the earth is full. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But the plan of the Lord stands forever, the design of his heart through all generations. Blessed the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen for his own inheritance. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. But see, the eyes of the Lord are upon those who fear Him, upon those who hope for His kindness, to deliver them from death and preserve them in spite of famine. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. Please rise. Alleluia, alleluia. I consider all things so much rubbish that I may gain Christ and be found in Him. 
Hallelujah. 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 The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I have come to set the fire, or rather set the earth on fire, and how I wish it were already blazing. There is a baptism with which I must be baptized, and how great is my anguish until it is accomplished. Do you think that I have come to establish peace on the earth? No, I tell you, but rather division. From now on a house of the five will be divided. Three against two and two against three. A son against the father, a mother against her daughter, a daughter against her mother, a mother-in-law against her daughter-in-law, and a daughter-in-law against her mother-in-law. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Our readings, they talk about family relationships it's plural because family is not only limited to the same blood but for us Christians family goes beyond the same blood but as a local community we are called a family through baptism and bigger than that the universal church is a family so the readings talk about family relationships. Number one, our own family, our family blood relationship. In today's gospel reading, Jesus talks about division in the family. He came to unite people, but why is it that he mentioned that there will be division two against three, three against two? Jesus' message is a message of love. And this message of love comes from the experience of the Holy Trinity. The Holy Trinity loves one another, the three persons. The one person loves the two fully and unconditionally. And this love becomes very creative and redemptive love. That they want to share this love, the overflowing love of the Blessed Trinity, to humanity if God created humanity it's because of this overflowing love the unconditional and full love of the Blessed Trinity they want to share this love the love of the three persons the community of the Holy Trinity so they share this love but as a real and ideal family batunon tamalang taga pamilya natin Hindi man tanang nga membro sa pamilya, ang gabaton sa gugma. As ideal love. May arak din na ipermiya sa lulong sa balayang, luyang siya palang daon, pero iya nga selfish kind of love. So this selfish kind of love brings division. It is not Jesus Christ, but it's the person who does not want to accept this unconditional love of God this would bring division sa pamilya. May ara ginapermi membro sa pamilya ya. Maybe at that time, hindi pa sa mature. Hindi pa sa handa magbaton. And so, ang iya kind of love is very selfish. Gadras ang division sa pamilya. And whoever tries to share this unconditional love of God, gusto yung nagubun. Gusto yung gubun. Mangguba na siya. And isang luyag sina kind of love eh. Mangguba na siya. Amo na gani si mother-in-law kung try si daughter-in-law. Kaya hindi sila nuyag, guy. Sining love of Jesus Christ, the love of the Blessed Trinity. Mangguba na siya. Whoever tries to share this kind of love, the conditional love, panggubo niya na. Gubo niya gani mismo that love. Sa sulod sa panimalay, gubo niya na. So there will be division. As a normal family, may ara gina permiya. But of course, movement, the process of maturity, it would come, no? would come someday, may healing, the healing of the family. But divisions would always occur. It would happen to any family. Now, moving from this family because of blood relationship, we move on to the local, local church as a family. Kita, ginbunyagan kita, 
we belong to one diocese, we are one family by baptism. And St. Paul, in today's first reading, is thanking God the Father. Nagluhod siya as an act of reverence, no? reverence and as an act of humility before God the Father, thanking God the Father by sending His Son, Jesus Christ. It enables us to be one family. It enables us to experience that love, true love. Ito, pasalamat sa Diyos na amay. Because through Jesus Christ, God enabled us, followers of Jesus Christ, to share in the family of God, the divine family of God. Nag-ambit kita. Nangin pamilya kita sa Diyos. Hindi tungod sa dugo. Tungod higit bunyagan kita. Kag sa kaayos ang yan na kasi Yeso Kristo. Kagani ato ni Spol Solesam, it speaks about praising God. Praising God because of His goodness that is beyond and unfathomable. Hindi ba itong kanya kaayos ang Diyos? Nga palang gauntas ang Diyos, anong ibig ara sa imo? O sulitun ko naman in the book of Psalms, ginahambal, If you would mark our iniquities, Lord, who can stand? Sino mabilin sa amon di? Kontakson mo, kag isipon mo mga sala namon, tag isa-isa. Sino mabilin nga wala sala? Sino wala sala sa amon? If you would mark our iniquities, are we lovable? We are not lovable. But God is love. Even though you are not lovable, God continues to love. That's why it's in here. If you would mark your iniquities, Lord, who will stand? But with you is full of forgiveness and compassion. Kita mo na. Ang Diyos puno sa pagpatawad, kag sang gugma, kag kaluhoy. Ang muna yung nga, din palang ka kita. Hindi tungod kay takos kita. That you are worthy. No. Because love, God is full of forgiveness and compassion. His love is overflowing. Gaalalawas ang luma niya. So that's why He enabled us to become a member of His family. Nanging katapok kayo sa family sa Diyos. Kanako na nga pagpasalamat. That's why our response tells us, Sing praise to God. The earth is full of goodness of the Lord. You see the eyes of the Lord are upon those who love Him in return. So as a local family, local church, Let's always sing praise to God. Pasalamat kita sa Diyos. Kada ko isang kabalas lang ka sa Diyos. Kada ko. Kung natin may utang na loob ka sa Diyos, dako ang imo utang na loob sa Diyos. Huh? Mga blessing tinatag ni God, hindi because kayo nabuot ka. Hindi tungkos ka nagsimba, kasubong, bless niya. Kaya hindi. Kaya ang Diyos siya, maayog ihapon. Oh, so you should always be grateful to God. Now the bigger picture Universal Church, we have to be thankful. No, as Universal Church, because as one family of God, He enables us and allows us to share this love. It is love that would save us. The true love of God would save us. It is love that is very transforming. Huh? If you want somebody to change for the better, love the person. Love has a very transforming power. Makakambyo ang gugma. Kambyo sa pagkamaayo. It could change the person for the better. A more transformative love of God. So, it is love that would change the world for the better. But it should begin in the individual. There are many individuals who are hurt. Who are hurt. And they don't want to be loved with the kind of love of God. So what they do, they would stop and destroy that love in many ways. Because their own love is a very selfish love. Their own way. Their own way. So ang ilang pamaagi ang gugma ng kadalok na gugma. Or maybe these people, they have not experienced true love. Ang muna gapanghalit sila gapanakit sila ibang na tao because they themselves, they have not experienced this full unconditional love of God. So they would destroy 
Anybody who would try to share this unconditional love of God, mangguba na sila tawo, manghalit tawo, ara na sa simbahan, taga simbahan na sila, hindi na sila pagano. Mga binunyaga na sila pro gapangguba sa simbahan, gapanghalit sa simbahan, gapang destroy community, gapang destroy unity. Amo na sila. You meet them every day. You rub elbows with them. Maybe member pa sa inyong organizations. Upod nyo pa na sa praise and worship. Benefactor pa na. Benefactor pa na sa inyong mismo simbahan. Pero gapang guba. They don't want a united family. They don't want to see a community. They want to see division always. And they want, if there is unity, it's always on their side. Sa ilay ang luyag, amuning unity, according to me, according to my definition, amuning community, but not the kind of community that Christ brings through this unconditional love of the Blessed Trinity. Let me end. The difference between a house and a home. A house is a place where people live. A home, a home is a place where family experiences love between members of the family. The home is a place where one experiences love. The house is a place where people live. Ga istar lang. Wala man na gugma. Kisa wala ganit balay, apartment lang, boarding house. But the experience, a home. No house, but they have a home. There are so many people, they have big houses, but no home. You can build a house for a matter of three months or less than a year. But in building a home, it takes a lifetime to build a home. It's a process. You cannot have a home, you cannot have a home just for one year. It takes a lifetime process to build a home because a home is built out of love, not of bricks and stones. Remember St. Pope John Paul II? He wrote many encyclicals and apostolic letters about the family. Pope John Paul II would always say, the family is our way through evangelization, a way to change for the better the family. Because it's in the family, basic family, where we say, charity begins not in the house. Charity begins at home. Where there is love, that's the start of sharing, the start of caring, the start of compassion, the start of being kind to one another. Charity begins at home, not in the house, but at home. And it does not end in the home. It begins in the home, and it goes out of the home to the community and universal church. Trials and troubles may come our way, but we are confident that God the Father will not fall short in His promises to those who are faithful and persevering, make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. Make, make our, our lives worthy, worthy of, of you, o Lord. o Lord, that the leaders of the church who are openly persecuted may be given the courage and strength to remain constant in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Make, make our, our lives, lives worthy, worthy of you, o Lord. o Lord, that parents may have the strength and courage to guide their children in the ways of faith and Christian life. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That families and communities 
divided by religious differences, may discover the truth and show respect to one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That the sick, the elderly, and the disabled may receive love and attention from their family and friends. Let us pray to the Lord. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. That those who have died may be happy forever in the kingdom of the Father. Make our lives worthy of you, O Lord. In silence also raise to God petitions of people that we promise to pray for. God our Father, you sent your Son to help us in our struggles. Comfort us in our pain and give us the strength to always act. We trust in your word. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for the goodness we have received, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Accept this sacrifice from your people, we pray, O Lord, and make what is offered for your glory in honor of blessed John Paul II, a means to our eternal salvation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. So lift them up to Let the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, for us on the festival of St. John Paul II, you bid your church rejoice. So to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit, Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Patricia, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Also remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles, with St. John Paul II, St. Sebastian, St. Zeli and Louis Martin, St. Therese of the Child Jesus, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope, the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. So offer other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, I am, am not, not worthy, worthy that you should enter my room. room. Only, say, only the word, say the word, and my soul and shall be healed.
Lord, you know everything. You know that I love you. The body of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, stir up in us that fire of charity with which blessed John Paul II burned ardently as he gave himself unceasingly for your church through Christ our Lord. We pray, Dorach and Pirata, God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against the COVID-19 that has claimed lives and has affected many. We pray for your grace, for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of this virus and its disease, and of stemming the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion and of those government and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Grant us the grace to work for the good of all and to help those in need. Grant this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Mary, help of all Christians. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Ra. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsud. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.
Amen. The Mass is ended. We all go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God.